Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to use the film strip function and some advanced view options in NX Studio by Nikon. So we're in the thumbnail um, view right now so we can see all the pictures in this particular folder and we can go through them. I'm going to select this uh, image right here and I'm going to double click on it which will bring it into image view. I can then take the uh, scroll on the mouse and scroll back and forth to zoom in and out. Now once I'm looking at this photograph I might want to go back and look at some other photographs and I could go to the uh, thumbnail view and look at the grid again and then click on another photograph and look at it and so on. But there's a another easier way to do it that's very useful. We can use the film strip mode and uh, that mode is up here if we click this icon You'll see you put a film strip down here. Now the nice thing about this is we can actually uh, take this line and uh, change the size of it. I think there are about three different sizes. There's kind of a large, a medium, and a small view. Uh, whichever works best for you. Uh, so then you can see other uh, images around this image and you can go through and use this scroll bar to go through the entire roll. And uh, so you can see the images next to it if you want to like look at a different uh, view of the same image or what was photographed next or you can go anywhere in the film strip in view which is very nice the other thing you can do is you can go up here to film strip view and you can change it to a vertical film strip and once again we can resize this to large medium or small uh, thumbnails and so what we can do now is uh, we can do the same thing as we can do when it was horizontal but there's another option that we can use with the film strip either horizontal or vertical and that is to view multiple images at once so if we go up to this icon up at the top and click on it we can view two images at once and so if I click on the second frame and I go and I pick something else I can view two images at once uh, the nice thing is, is that we can actually view as many as four at once by clicking on this next icon. And so we can select several things and select this frame, put another one in. So we can have four at once. Now we can actually zoom in and they will stay synced. So everything will zoom in at once as long as this link is highlighted here so that it's yellow. If we click this link off then we can zoom differently into this particular photo or into any particular photo. So if we go back over to here and then we click the link you'll note the link moves around to whichever uh, image or frame is active. If we click that back on they all go back to the same size and become synced again so you can zoom in and out of all of them using the scroll on the mouse the mouse scroll so now there there's more that we can do here for example we can go back down to the bottom and there's a little icon with an eye here and that's for information and it gives us like quick information on all of the frames that we're looking at this works in image mode too so these things will work if you're you just have one image and you just want to see um, the data on it, like uh, what lens was being used, what camera, um, the ISO, the shutter speed, the f-stop, and so on. So that's a, a re really nice function to be able to have as well. We can also show the histogram by clicking on this, and we can change the types that are being viewed. And this case we're, we're viewing the brightness but we can add the RGB to that or we can we can have like a uh, um, the uh, red the green and the blue totally separate and so we can do any combination of those so we have multiple different things we can show with the histogram as well and that works in single image mode as well as multiple image mode. Uh, so we're going to turn that back off for now and we're going to turn back off the information. We can also click so that we have a grid 
on everything, which can be very useful to see if things are lined up, particularly if you're doing architectural uh, photography or photography where there's a lot of vertical or horizontal lines. And then we can click on this icon over here, which is third from the right, which will show us uh, the focus points in, in what um, the camera was focusing on and, and looking for, which is also can be very, very useful. So those are some of the things you can do, uh, kind of the advanced things or advanced ways you can view uh, photographs in NX Studio by Nikon. This has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.